Halo. Selamat datang di di Coba kalian sih lagi. Ini yang yang lebih jangan dulu lah ya. Lihat. Ini bisa, tapi kan udah bisa ya. Bisa itu itu ya untuk gua teman ya. Yang tahu dan ini bila kali kan bulan 2000-2010. Kan enggak itu. Bulan 2009 ini masih udah kelewatan. Teman makin makin ini diinstal. jadi bisa main tapi harus kalau ada filter ya ya kamu harus itu yang di sini ya main ya tapi ya tapi tadi itu ya nggak bisa berapa pun yang nggak tahu ya itu ya kan malah seorang orang betul 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 ini rupanya bisa kayak gini Teman ini saya tutur pakai G Lu 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 Dia pusing dia pusing Leo Wah tolong 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 Wah tolong Deh Halo Ya gue udah 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 Kayak kita sama temannya Wah 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 Tolong 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 Kenapa kayak gini Cium 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 cium, arum arum. Ya, sebentar lagi. Ya, sebentar lagi tujuh lagi ya. Eh kali, jangan semua jangan lupa like, komen dan subscribe. Karena semua itu gratis dan kita tunggu tapi itu kan subscribe itu kan gratis tapi cuma like dan subscribe semua ya tapi Candy lebih suka semuanya subscribe jangan terkait Z dan loh Rupanya Loh Nonton ini sampai ini habis. Jadi di abad apa ya? Tapi cuma sesaatnya itu loh. Ya gak apa-apa. Lupanya pokok. Betul pakai TNT. Lu meledak tolong, lu meledak lu. Lo lu meledak semua. Ya meledaklah. Masa kayak gitu buat ya? Tapi meledak semua kayak gitu. Lihat ada ini ya, biasanya ada ini ya. Cuma kalau ini percobaan aja ya. Berdak banget. Itu satu satu sapi. Di 
lihat kan kita kenci masih anak-anak yang nggak apa-apa mungkin udah bisa lah ya harus coba kita sih Tisnya kok banyak banget. Oh no, Steve ya ada Irobi. Irobi itu dan lebih banyak lagi Steve. Lihat kan, lihat kan banyak. Lihat PC-nya dan lihat dia bukan bukan PC, ada monitor. Soalnya kan ini nak kasih nama. Yeah, 
so, yeah, yeah, let me know what you guys think. So right now, I am in the rare but fantastic looking mushroom biome right here, as you can see. And yes, they are extremely rare to find. So I figured the next crafting idea to put in this video would be a crafting recipe for this mushroom block right here. Because, you know, you can only obtain these if you perhaps find root forest biomes or mushroom biomes. So they can be quite hard to get. So I figured I'd add a little crafting recipe for them. So if we go into the chest right here, you'll see that I have nine red mushrooms which is, you know, going to be used for the crafting recipe. And if we go in the crafting table and get all of these red mushrooms and put them all in the grid, you will see that I craft one red mushroom block right here, which I think is quite an appropriate recipe for this block. So let's go ahead and craft it. And there you go. You will now have another way to obtain this block in the game. But let me know if you think this should be added. Now, since I made a crafting recipe for the red mushroom block, I figured it would make a lot of sense to also make the exact same recipe for the brown mushroom block. Now, you guys can already guess how these are going to be crafted. Yep, that's right. Instead of red mushrooms, you would just use brown mushrooms. So let's go ahead and go to the crafting table and put in nine brown mushrooms. And you'll see that you're able to craft the brown mushroom block as well. So, yeah, that is another block in Minecraft you could potentially obtain by crafting it instead of finding it naturally. Very cool indeed. Okay, guys, so I have just been doing some mining, and look what I've found. I found some diamonds right here. Let's go ahead and mine it. There we go. I love finding diamonds in this game. It makes me so happy. But, uh, yeah, I can finally craft a diamond pickaxe now. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Awesome. I got a diamond pick. And what does that mean? Well, I can now mine some obsidian. Here we go. This is really fun. This is getting boring. Oh my god, I don't want to do this. This is going to take so long. Why can't I just craft obsidian? Okay, let's go back to the crafting table. Here we go. Ooh, I've got a lava bucket and a water bucket right here. What if I put these on top of each other? <gasps> What's this? I've got crafting recipes for obsidian. Oh my god, why can't this be in the game? This would just be amazing. Okay, I get it. I know you have to play Minecraft and uh, you know, spend all that time mining obsidian, but it does take forever. I wish there was just a shortcut sometimes, but let me know if you think obsidian should be crafted. The next crafting recipe that could maybe be added into Minecraft is a set of recipes for the horse armor. Now, as you guys can see, I have a horse right here with some horse armor equipped already, and I actually crafted this with some items. So let's go ahead and head over to the chest right here, as I have some items in it to craft some horse armor. And as you guys can see, I have already laid out the recipes that I think the horse armor should be crafted with. Now, if you, uh, you know, old school Minecrafters didn't realize already, this is actually the old recipe the horse armor used to use before it was removed. So if we go ahead and take the wool and the diamonds out of the chest right here and go and put it in the crafting recipe, you will see that I am able to craft some diamond horse armor right here, which is very cool. Now, this was the recipe that was used in the 1.6 snapshot, but Mojang decided to just remove it from the game and made it so you could only find horse armor by looking in dungeons, for example. And uh, yeah, you can only find it naturally, but maybe they could add this recipe back into the game. But let me know what you guys think. Okay, guys, so the next crafting recipe that could maybe be added to Minecraft is a recipe for the creeper head and the skeleton skull. Now, the skeleton skull, for example, is extremely rare to get because, you know, you can only get it if a charged creeper kills a skeleton. Now, what are the chances of that happening? That is, uh, that's pretty rare, to be honest. So I thought I'd come up with some silly crafting recipes for these mob heads. So let's go ahead and enter the crafting table right here. And for the creeper head, I figured eight gunpowder around the edge and then one TNT in the middle would be quite fitting for the recipe because creepers drop gunpowder and creepers explode so you know TNT makes a lot of sense so that is the recipe for the creeper head and then for the skeleton skull I figured eight bones since you know the skeleton drops bones upon death and then a bow in the middle since the skeleton wields a bow as a weapon and uh, yeah those are pretty much my recipes for the creeper head and the skeleton skull let me know what you guys think it's trivia time this is the part of the video where you guys show me your minecraft knowledge by me asking you a random minecraft fact question in older versions of minecraft you could destroy bedrock true or false Okay, 
guys, so I have talked about this crafting recipe hundreds of times on my channel, but I still to this day have not decided what I think this crafting recipe should even be, and that is the crafting recipe for chain armor. So if you guys didn't know, back in the earlier days of Minecraft, you used to be able to craft chain armor by using fire, and you couldn't obtain fire in survival mode, but that was the crafting recipe for chain armor.
Now, if you guys want me to make a part two of this video, then be sure to let me know in the comment section below. But if you guys do enjoy today's video, then be sure to give this video a like rating as it's going to help me out a huge bunch. Now, as always, if this video is able to hit over 5,000 likes, then that would just be amazing, not gonna lie. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this super interesting video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, guys, so the first crafting recipe idea we have on our list is going to be a recipe for this new trident weapon that has been added in the new 1.13 update. Now the first crafting idea I had for this weapon is to basically use two sticks right here as you can see and four diamonds like so and then finally this new heart of the sea item that's been added. Now currently heart of the sea is not obtainable in survival but it will be in a later snapshot I believe so yeah I reckon heart of the sea will be quite fitting for this item and then a bunch of diamonds as well because obviously the recipe for the trident needs to be quite expensive since it's a very good weapon but i also had another recipe idea right here as you can see and it's pretty much the same recipe but instead of heart of the sea i would use a nether star because this item is you know very hard to obtain you know you have to kill the wither bomb to obtain it so maybe you could you know use more diamonds and a nether star instead but uh, let me know what you guys think okay guys so the second crafting recipe idea i have for you all today is going to be for the item i am using right now which is the elytra wings now these are only found in n city ships so they are quite rare and difficult to obtain so i figured i'd create a crafting recipe for it so in order to craft the elytra you would actually need four leather right here you know fairly simple to do you just have to kill some cows and secondly i would have two feathers right here you know kill some chickens again very easy but finally you would need two phantom membranes which is the difficult part of this crafting recipe because phantom membranes are going to be quite hard to get since you need to kill the new phantom mob and they only spawn if you don't sleep for a certain amount of days so you know in order to get a phantom to show up in general is going to be quite rare but killing them as well is going to be hard because they're quite tricky mobs they fly around you know they you know they charge at you when they fly so they can kill you quite easily okay guys so right in front of me you can see well first of all a pig right here and secondly you can see a horse and in my hand i have a saddle so that can only mean one thing that's right i am going to be showing you guys a crafting recipe idea for the saddle now saddles can only be found in naturally generated structures such as dungeons for example hello piggy uh, but yeah i figured i'd show you guys a crafting recipe idea for it so let's go ahead and go over to the crafting table and to craft a saddle well in my vision i would use five leather right here you know very simple to do just kill some cows and no i do not want a leather cap but secondly, you would use some string right here, just kill a spider, very simple. And then finally, I would use some iron ingot, and that would be the recipe for the saddle. Very simple, not too expensive, but I do think it's quite fair as well. So let's go ahead and craft this saddle, and let's put it on top of the horse. So let's get on the horse, and let's be, and put the saddle on it. And there we go, that is the recipe for the saddle. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to, you know, take this off because there's a lead attached to it, but uh, yeah, this is the saddle. The sea pickle is a new item that was added in the 1.13 update, and this item essentially acts as an underwater light source, as you can see. Now, granted, they're not as good as the torch, but it's still something, you know, if you're having trouble seeing on the water, you can just use a sea pickle. Now, you cannot actually craft them. They can only be found in the coral reef biomes or just scattered around in the ocean. So, yeah, you can't actually craft them. So, someone on my Discord actually suggested a fantastic recipe for them so if you just simply use one kelp and one prismarine crystal right here you will see that you can craft four sea pickles right here which is quite you know a fitting recipe i'd say and here we go i've got four sea pickles so i can see a lot better underwater which i think is a really good idea but let me know what you guys think have you guys ever wanted to give a creeper a really funny nickname but you haven't been able to because you haven't been lucky enough to find a name tag in a dungeon well that'd be me all the time so i figured i'd just create a crafting recipe you know, for the name tag to make it a little bit Kenapa kita gini ya? Padahal a feather and one insect so you know it's quite a simple but fair recipe for the name tag so if you put in this recipe idea then you will be able to craft this name tag so yeah let's go ahead and craft it right here and let's go up to the anvil and give the name tag a funny name well not really a funny name just a name that's appropriate for the creeper so charlie right here let's go ahead and call him 
Charlie the Creeper. Let's go up to the Creeper and name him Charlie. You right, mate? How you doing? Okay, guys, so as you can see, I am in the rare but fantastic mushroom biome right here, as you can see, and it is home to the rare mycelium. There is no way to craft it. You must find a mushroom biome in order to obtain it. So I figured I would show you guys a crafting recipe idea to basically craft this one. So if we go into the crafting table right here, you can see that I have three items right here. I've got some regular dirt, boring, and I've got some brown mushroom, and I've got the red mushroom. So if we put the dirt right here, and then the brown mushroom on the top, and then the red mushroom on top of that, you will see that I have crafted a mycelium block. I think that is quite a cool idea. Okay guys, so the next crafting recipe idea we have on our list is going to be ice. Now before I get into this, I just want to tell you guys that I spilled hot chocolate all over my desk and I'm really annoyed. But anyways, let's get into this. So the crafting recipe idea I have for ice is, well, let's open up the crafting table first of all. Uh, pretty much what I do is put a snow block underneath right here and then put a water bucket on top of it. Does that make sense? Maybe, I don't know, but I think it's quite a reasonable recipe to craft ice, so let's go ahead and craft it. And uh, there you go. Uh, it's uh, right uh, here. Uh, so uh, I think this is quite cool. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so once you've crafted some ice by using a water bucket and some snow, I figured it would make sense if you could craft packed ice as well. Now, the crafting idea to craft packed ice is very simple. Just go straight into the crafting table right here and just get nine ice and just build a grid, basically. And you will have packed ice right here. It's a very simple recipe. All you need to do is basically craft some ice, and craft ice, and you should be good to craft packed ice. Now, let me know if you think this is a cool idea. I think it would make quite a lot of sense. I mean, it might be a little bit overpowered, but you know, it's a cool idea nonetheless. And I love packed ice as well. It's really awesome. It's trivia time. This is the part of the video where you guys show me your Minecraft knowledge by me asking you a random Minecraft fact question. Wolves used to attack the player on peaceful mode. True. Oh, oh, the oh, next oh, crafting recipe oh, right here we have on our list is going to be a crafting recipe for the end portal frame. Now, as you guys can see, I've got an activated end portal right here. And then oh, well. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I think yeah. it should be crafted. So let's go ahead and go over to the crafting table right here. And you can see that I've got some items in here. I've got some end stone, some end of pearl, and some eye of ender. So basically, I think it should be crafted like this. So, you know, we've got to have some end stone right here. And then we're going to go ahead and put down the end of pearl like this. And then we're going to put the eye of ender in the middle. And there you go. We've got the end portal frame right here, which is very cool. Now, you're probably thinking that being able to craft an end portal frame would make finding a normal end portal in a stronghold completely pointless. Well, that's not actually true because you do in fact need to enter a normal end portal in a stronghold in order to even craft this item, you know, because you need to enter the end and get some end stone. And once you get end stone, you can in fact craft this item. So I'll show you the recipe one more time. So let's go ahead and do it right here. You know, it's four end stone, four end of pearls, and then one eye of ender in the middle. So yeah, you do in fact need to enter the normal end portal in order to craft it anyway. So I'm sure a lot of you know that you're able to get wool by sharing sheep, but did you also know that you can craft wool by using four strings? Like I'm sure a lot of you know I didn't really need to mention it, I don't know why I did, but yeah, let's go ahead and craft the white wall. Oh Look, I think the cool idea that Mojang should put in the game is being able to turn the white wall back into string. I think they should just add a reverse recipe to the wall. I think it'd be quite useful, to be honest, in case, you know, you want to use the string for perhaps a fishing rod or a bow or something like that, because maybe you don't want the wall anymore. Maybe you don't want to craft the wall. Maybe you want to use it for, you know, a bow or a fishing rod. But anyway, that just about concludes today's video, everybody. I really hope you all enjoyed it and your found it informative. Now, be sure to let me know in the comments once again if you would like me to make a part two of Minecraft crafting ideas. By the way, I would like to give a huge thank you to some of the members on my Discord server. You guys know who you are because you guys helped out with this video because I asked you guys to do some crafting idea suggestions in the comments and you guys gave some awesome suggestions. Some of them even made it into this video. Now, as always, if you guys would like to play on my Minecraft server, then the IP is play.idmchub.net. But anyways, guys, I am going to go now because 
I don't know, I need a breather after making this video, man. I made so many mistakes, I had to redo so many clips, and I spilled hot chocolate all over my desk, as I mentioned in the video. So that was very, very annoying. So I'm going to go now. So thank you all so much for watching the video. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Katie, I see you in under a week. Terima kasih semua telah menonton ini. Kak, subscribe dan like. Dadah. Wihi.